wholeness beautiful people beautiful humans beautiful beings welcome to my channel um, to seeds of silver tree my name is Rashida silver tree and today's topic is about integration um, what is the cause of human dis-ease human dis-ease what is the cause of it this explanation will be of um, medical metaphysical arena so I will include some science I will include you know reality if you that as we know it if you will but um, yeah so I want to jump right into it I was visiting with a very old acquaintance of mine and she's a very successful businesswoman um, and she's also a master healer but she's going through her own physical uh, uh, crisis if you will and so it really inspired me to share this message with you all on my, I guess, my own interpretation that I've developed over the years on my own spiritual path and my comprehension of such experiences as far as illness, dis-ease, and imbalances of the human form. The important, what is integration? Integration is, in my opinion, it is integrating your full self, your purpose, your why, your principles, your values, your core beliefs into your human form, into the body, into the mind, and into the heart. You are fulfilling your path in the present moment. You're no longer fragmented in several dis different pieces, wearing so many different masks. You're not running away from yourself. You're not running away from your limitations. You're facing you. And you are facing your shadows, your demons, your darkness. You're facing and you're hearing out your, your angels and, and embodying the light in you and embodying the all in you. Okay? All of yourself. Integration is a process. It takes time. It takes space to fully, you know, go through it, if you will. So integration, we, in my personal opinion, spiritually, okay... I'm going to give you like a download on how I see energy and how I see like just the overall human form or beings, spiritual beings having human experience. So you have the soul. The soul is an infinite um, part of the all. All right. It's, it, it's uh, the, the soul is the, the beginning and the end life, death, life. It is the all. Okay. And we all are given like a fragment of the all which is the soul okay and then you have the spirit the spirit is a channel the spirit allows us to be connected to forces like love to feel love to share love to experience the human emotions um, to get insights ideas to expand our imagination to manifest to create um, it is to to connect the ability for the human to connect to another human is is through spirit right and that is a very crucial point it is the gateway between our soul and our human form okay we hear god we hear our higher calling through spirit through this channel the spiritual channel and then you have the human form which has its own um makeup if you will right you have the mental body spirit body uh, you have the astral body, you have the physical body, you have the mo like you have a, a many different layers that make up your energy field or your EMF. Um, so that's just a basic uh, description of how I see things as a metaphysicist, as someone who can see beyond the veil, if you will. Okay, call it what you want. So. Um, So, uh, I wanted to dive into the importance of integration. So, we come in, when, we, when our, the, our beings come into this world, into this reality, all right, when our soul wants to experience life and death and creativity and love and pain and suffering, all that it's the the soul is is you can't capture the soul you can't imprison the soul you can't kill the soul you can't give birth to the soul the soul is just it is it is part of the all 
So with our spiritual channel though, you have a lot of ancestral information, you have karmic, um, uh, uh, karmic debts, good and bad, right? Or not so good experiences with good experiences. You have your soul contracts. You have all of the all of your life's purpose, your life setbacks in this lifeline, all the things that could or have happened in other previous lifelines or things that haven't happened yet. All that comes through this beautiful channel at the moment in time and location of your birth. And even through our astrological zodiac signs, you bring in all this powerful energy, this energetic blueprint with you. And then you have your persona, right? That's that's developed through your inner human interaction as you grow up and develop a, a, from a child to an adult, right? Your personality, your persona. So, when this channel is disrupted through trauma, through sexual abuse, physical abuse, um, psychological abuse, uh, uh, war, um, hunger, um, you know, things of that nature, it can create um, imbalance in other realms of you meaning your other bodies okay meaning your other yous um and all disease all illnesses and all um, um imbalances begin in the me metaphysical realm like i said before many a time the unseen rules the scene so it is it's the things that we experience have already been through the many layers of 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 your bodies of your energy bodies for probably a lot longer so you go into the doctor you're not feeling well oh it's a cancer diagnosis or oh it's a this or oh it's an arthritis oh it's diabetes oh all, like I'm talking about chronic things I'm not talking about sudden traumatic brain injuries or I uh, no, no I'm talking about things that that show up usually and you catch it a little too late right um like genetic diseases are and are actually um, ancestral issues that have been passed down from after bloodline after bloodline after bloodline and it manifests into your existence because it has you know that karma has to play out so it plays out through your body and it could possibly play out through your child's body and their child's body and, it, and on and on and on it goes until the karmic energy has done its its cycle okay this is a metaphysical point of view this is not Western medical point of view on dis-ease. I know I have studied science class. I've taken science courses. I've studied microbiology. I've studied chemistry. I've studied um, biology. I've studied anatomy and physiology. All right. I when I was on the path of becoming a nurse, I took these courses, and I did the best I could in them. I did. I did okay. Um, you know, I, I was a little above the above average, right? But my point is. I very well am, I'm a supporter of science. I love science, but I also love spirituality and both should work together hand in hand. Sadly, they don't, but one day they will. So, most diseases and imbalances happen in the ether, in the spirit world first. And the longer you go without, and most of us are ignorant of this, for a lot, like throughout our childhood, we're ignorant of it throughout our adolescence and and then suddenly in our adult early adult to late adulthood oh now we're sick now I don't feel well now I have to take 20 different medications now I have to do this now I have to do that oh my health insurance won't cover this that's that is a lot of uh, the reality here on this planet and in this realm and in this world unfortunately unless you're blessed to bump into a healer on your in your early life or someone who can see beyond the veil and who has this other metaphysical understandings of these happenings and how dis-ease and illness and imbalances work. Okay? A lot of our physical ailments come either they come through ancestrally through our genes, okay, the ones who came before us, or they come through severe traumatic experiences that tear through your energy bodies your aura your auric field your mental emotional um field uh um your 
your lower energy centers, all of that is just completely torn up, shredded, and injured. When you're injured so deeply on, a, on such a deep metaphysical level, it will then manifest, literally manifest into physical ailment and dis-ease. Truly. Other physical um, disorders and and uh, like tragic accidents and stuff like that, that's a whole nother video I could make if you guys, you know, tell me in the comments that you want me to get into that on why bad things happen to good people. Why did I get in a car accident or why did I have this, that, this, t this traumatic brain injury, a TBI? Or why did I lose a leg or why this or why that? I can make a separate video discussing that a bit. Um, but right now, I'm just primarily talking about chronic illnesses where you're literally dealing with pain every single day. And so, you know, the importance of, um, you know, understanding integration is, is important. You want, that's why it's so, it's such a... Um, even though religion has really taken us farther away from, from, from God than what we realize, actually. Really. We've, we've trapped ourselves in the patriarchal uh, religious dogma. But I will say this. With religion, at least there's consistency. At least you can, ha you can have some kind of rapport with, rapport with the spirit world, with your God. You know, through certain practices like a prayer and meditation. This is why it's very, very important to have this at the beginning or end of the day or twice a day where you're just tuning into spirit tune, so you can be silent and know God, be still and know God, connecting to the force outside of your physical form, the thing that brings in the air and releases the air from your lungs, right? That prana energy. When the spiritual channel, when the spirit is is effed with intentionally, right, through trauma, okay, through physical, I'm just going to say it, physical, uh, sexual abuse in any shape, way, or form, especially childhood sexual abuse, that's the, that literally can cause long-term, lifelong physical ailments in the body, Okay? All right, things like arthritis, glaucoma, diabetes, chronic this, chronic, chronic that, fibromyalgia. Those are also other deeply, deep-seated genetic ancestral issues that have not been dealt with, that have shown up in your blood, have shown up in your existence. And so when I was having uh, this intimate discussion with her, she and we got on the discussion of pain, and I've experienced pain. She definitely is going through a lot of pain, and then I see and witness and observe the pain that my patients go through. And it's a and I I told her it's like a personal hell made just for you. And you have to develop people who are going through chronic pain have to develop a relationship with it give it a color give it a name give it a shape give it your awareness you know because it is something that you just have to accept and I'm not going to go into detail on my own physical limitations and, and what not the things I have to live with I mean I could maybe I will but not right now, but I just, I was so moved by our discussion today, you know, and I, I'm not, I don't, I don't declare myself like a physical healer per se. I, I don't know. I don't give myself any label. I just, I am that I am, you know, I'm a being having a human experience and these are the topics that I feel passionate about. And so, you know, a lot of the time, we are here to have human experiences. We're not here to run away from things that are hard, like disease, imbalance, and sickness, and illness. No one wants to be in pain. No one wants to be sick, and no one wants to go through any of this stuff. I honestly believe, you know, through relationship with our body, we can actually 
if not completely cure ourselves, we can learn how to heal ourselves. We can learn how to adapt with, with these powerful, sometimes very challenging, life-altering experiences. So just, you know, um, for those of you who go through a lot of chronic pain, I send love to you. And I, I may you be relieved of your despair and hopeless, hopelessness on the rough days and the low days. May you be relieved and may you have the best day that you could ever have when you have a great day. When you're, you're, you're painless and you get to enjoy the moment. May those moments be the best moments you, you could ever have. And may those days, your worst days, may you have that strength in you to keep going and to keep facing you. It's easier said than done. I know, it's easier said than done. But I just wanted to shed a little light on that because it's like chronic pain and illness and, and disease don't just pop out of nowhere. They don't. Remember, we're here living out karma, soul contracts, stories, ancestral trauma, ancestral issues. You know, we're here for many different reasons. Not to just be to be a savior for someone or a hero for someone or a celebrity or to be famous or to be successful. We're here for many different reasons. Only for a season. And then we're gone. So that's it. That's all I wanted to share. I'll see you next time.